Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us share this video together with our friends later. You know, we see always from time to time uh, some famous people saying good things about Islam. And some of the quotation about famous people can be true and some it can be fabricated. So what I will show you on the screen now, I'm not sure if Mahmata Gandhi, he said that. But he said, obviously, Islam is not a religion of sword, but this person, Muhammad, he owned the heart of people by something else. He's a person of devotion, you know, and to his friends, and he's a wonderful person. This is what Mahmata Gandhi is saying. Is that true? Does he say that? You can check it out. But there is many famous people, Muslims, they come to us with them from time to time, and they say those are people who converted to Islam. As example, Muhammad Ali, he says, the word Islam being peace. No comment. So those who say things or they speak about Islam, can we trust what they say? Can we believe them? We will find out in a few coming moments. And remember, nothing I say to you without you check it out. And I have the, the, the websites in the info, so you can go and check them out. And those websites are Islamic official website run by government. Government, we have ambassador from them. So don't tell me this is a Christian prince saying that. Reference we will show you is from the Quran and from the Hadith. So don't tell me that Christian prince says that. I'm going to show you what they believe in. In the front of me, islamweb.net, very famous Islamic terrorist website. And now people, they will say, oh, terrorist. Did you say terrorist? My friend, when I say terrorist, I mean Islam. Those are supposedly the one who are against ISIS, supposedly. <laughs> Those are the one they call them moderate Muslims. So the title here, it says, Wujubu bodil kafirin wa tabarru minhum wa adam muwalatahum. What does that mean? You know what? I'm not going to waste your time. I have the links down there in the info of the video. You can click open it and you can translate to English. I will translate to English in the front of your eyes. Remember the celebrity they say to us and when you see the word fatwa that's mean holy opinion based on the Quran and the teaching of the Prophet of Islam. This is not this is not a joke. Here you see the number it's called fatwa number 176819. Here you see the date according to the Islamic calendar which is messed up calendar. And this is the date according to the Christian calendar. So the question is, let us zoom out. The obligation to hate the unbelievers and disdown them and not to be loyal to them. It's obligation. So a person, he asked question. He said, well, some people, they say uh, Islam is religion of tolerance. I have a question that always come to my mind. Islam is religion of tolerance, so why do some imam in the mosque pray uh, for the inf infidels? Hmm. Uh, why some, the translation is messed up, pray against the infidels, which means he cursed them. Why, why the imam in the mosque? So I hear that Islam is religion of tolerance, but when I go to the mosque, I see the Imam saying, may Allah kill them, may Allah destroy them, may Allah freeze the blood in their, may Allah uh, uh, make uh, their wives widows, may Allah give them their, uh, give us their wives to rape them. So, why they say Islam is religion of Torahs, some they say, but when we go to the mosque, we hear a different story. He said, and this is the Muslim saying, I believe that there is no Muslim would uh, be content to pray for him pray for him which means pray for you in a good way you know uh, like uh, 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 sorry I mean that, that's reading Arabic because translation is really messed up uh, I believe that no Muslims will like uh, people to curse him so this person is saying well I go to the mosque I see uh, the Imam cursing and I think, and he is a Muslim, I don't think this is a good thing because I don't like people to curse me too because now the Christian can curse me and the Jews can curse me. And then he says, 
the prophet, he says, I'm going to kick out the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. Uh, and I will keep only Muslims. And then he says, the prophet, he says, may Allah curse, may Allah curse the Jews and the Christians who took the graves of their prophet as temples. So he said, why the hatred for the kuffar, the unbeliever or the kuffar of the people of the book? And do you think that, uh, don't think and don't think, I love them, I don't. But this is a question. So the guy is asking a question. To make it simple, the question is here, the translation is very stupid. Uh, you know, how come they say Islam is the religion of terrorists, but when I go to the mosque, I hear the, the sheikhs and the imam cursing the Christian and the Jews. He says, as I know, the prophet, he says, curse the Jews, curse the Christians. At the same time, I don't like anyone to curse me. The prophet says, I'm going to kick them out from the Arabian Peninsula. Now the answer is from the scholars, not from the person who is normal Muslim. Those are the sheikhs. Not those celebrity with the shortest skirt or Muhammad Ali who know nothing about Islam. He was just a fool. They fooled him and he joined because he was angry from his society for and the reason why discrimination. He thought Islam is, uh, they fooled him, they said Islam is for black people. But the fact Islam is anti-color people. This is why there is a hadith says, the one who said the prophet is black, kill him. This is why Muhammad, he says, that the black dog is a devil. This is why Muhammad, he says, the most, most person Allah he hate is a black man. This is why Muhammad, he says, that the one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black man from Ethiopia. This is why Muhammad, he made fun of their look, and he says, raising head. Muhammad, obviously, is a very racist person. He is very hateful, disgusting creature. The answer he's saying, praise be to Allah, and peace be upon the Prophet and his family, so now the questionnaire, he's asking the question, your question, the, the, the hatred of the people of the book or other infidels, it's not merely of a, uh, uh, out of desire, but rather approved by Allah in his love and worth. This is Google translation. I'm not even using my translation. He's saying to the, uh, to the question or the questioner, listen, hatred to the non-Muslims is not a question. It's not out of desire. It's not like I like to hate them or I don't like to hate them. This is not up to us. It is approved by Allah and we have to do it. And then he start quoting for him Quran. So, and the book of the Sunnahs have come to the necessity of hatred of the unbelievers. And they're this, uh, the, uh, this uh, of all, I don't know if I have to say the word correctly, excuse me of them and their enmity. So we have to hate them. We have to be enemy for them. We have to curse them. And this is why the, 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 the word of, uh, 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 of uh, Allah Almighty is saying in the Quran, and now we will go to the Quran to show you the verses. So you can see what we are talking about from the Quran. This is a chapter of Al-Mumtahina, verse number four. We go to Al-Mumtahina number four. <clears throat> here is saying to you that the enmity and the hatred between you and those who don't believe in Allah is a must those who reject Allah you cannot be friend with them and you have to wash your hands with them the same as Abraham he washed his hands and he hated his people and became his enemy he's quoting the Quran then he quote different verse from the Quran in the same chapter uh, verse number one All who you believe take not my enemies and your uh, uh, and your yours as a friends or protectors, offering them your love. Do you see it? So the Sheikh he says this is not a question if I like to hate the Christians and the Jews or and the atheists and the Buddhas. No, we have to hate them because this is the order of Allah, and He is quoting for the Muslim Abdul the answer He is giving him from the Quran. 
So from the chapter of Al-Mumtahini, which is chapter number 60, as you see in the screen here with me, he quote for him verse number one and verse number four. Remember that. Then we go to the page to read the rest of the answer. And then he says, the verses indicate uh, this are many, that which mean hatred to the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the Buddhas and atheists and etc. In line with common sense, because a normal soul hate a crime is hate. Uh, uh, translation here is not, uh, let me see the Arabic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, in, uh, you know, like uh, for the soul, uh, hate is not good, you know, it's not good. But when it's come to hate someone who did bigger a crime, greater a crime, to become the enemy of Allah, hatred is a, is a good hate. And here he says, especially... The crime of the Christians, we Christian, we commit a crime, who curse God Almighty, insulting him by saying that God have a son. And he is quoting for him the Quran. So a Muslim, he should hate the Christians because the Christian, they say, God have a son. That's why we have to hate them. We have to curse them. And if we can, the Quran says in chapter 9, verse 29, kill them wherever you find them. And that's the pages here. Either they pay jizya with subdued and humiliation, or they die, or they convert to Islam. And then he continues saying the rest, giving him more proofs and more reference. Saying to him, uh, the Imam al Johari, you know, there's a big Imam, he said, uh, the reasons to, for hating the Christians and the Jews are many. As for the Christian, they say what, uh, 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 you know, they, like they have uh, they have many sect, or the major sect of them, say that we believe in God, third of the three. And Mary, his companion, absolutely this is false. You see, they lie about us. They lie about, we don't believe that Mary is a companion of God. <laughs> they lie about what we believe. And that the Messiah is his son. So because of that, it is oblig it's a must for a Muslim. The, the reason, this is, he is telling him why we should hate the Christians, why we should hate the Jews. And he continue in, to the rest. Now, this is islamweb.net. I can give you more. I can give you the highest Islamic scholar in the last century. His name is Imam Ibn Baz. This is Imam Ibn Baz. Let us clean, close this page. Again, you can find the reference down in the info. The one which uh, uh, hard to open because it have Arabic word in the top, in the title, in the in the, in the link. I, I made it shorten, which is this one. So this is the official website of Imam Ibn Baz. Official. This is not Christian Prince again. The topic is the obligation of being the enemy of the Jews and the Mushrikeen, which means the Christian, the Hindus, the Buddhas, etc. Here the question is, or let us say, translation. <coughs> someone, someone, again, the same story, Some like this guy, he's saying, I heard, I saw, some people are saying, we don't hate the Christians, we don't hate the Jews. And he put it between two brackets. We are not hostile to the Jews and Judaism, and we respect all monotheic religion. This is what we hear in the news. You know, we hear, we heard Trump, he brought the Prince of Emirat, and, you know, they shake hands, and they call it the Abrahamic deal, which is funny, you know. And so he is saying, I heard many people say that. But is, this, is that true? He said, absolutely, this is false. He said, the Yehud, which means the Jews, and the polytheists, which means the Christians, supposedly we are the polytheists too, and uh, the Hindus, the Buddhas, etc. They are the most enemies. Read carefully. 
I say, an answer for those who say those stuff, that, you know, we are not against Jews and Christians and we don't hate them. I say, the Quran and the Sunnah, the Sunnah is what Muhammad did, which means teach us, indicate that what Muslims should do and what they should do. That unbelievers of the Jews and the Christians and all polytheists be aware of their affliction and take them as guardian as God Almighty told us in his Quran and then he started quoting Quran again all who you believe take not my enemy and your enemy as a friends and again this is the same chapter we quote for you in verse number one and then he quote again verse number four and then he go to Al-Ma'idah uh, uh, Al and he quote for you verse number nine, so, sorry, chapter number nine, uh, God, chapter five, verse number 51. All who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as a friends and protectors, and the one who take them, he is one of them. Let us go there. So we can show it to you clear. Five fifty one. He is quoting this. All who you believe, take not the, the, the Jews and the Christians for your friends and protectors. And the one who is a friend for them, the one who take them as a friend, he is sincere. He is one of them, which means he is not a Muslim no more. You don't take them as a friend. And we can change the translation, by the way. Those are Islamic translation. We are not choosing our, our own translation. So don't think we are picking up. You can go and see all, all Islamic translation. I don't approve them. Just to let you know. But you can change it. So, all who you believe take not the Jews and the Christians as uh, awliya, which means friends and protectors, or helpers, or anything. You cannot have good relationship with them. The same, actually, he say the same in chapter, in the same chapter in verse number 80. Do you see it? So what those people who they are celebrity, they say to us, what Islam is peace, Islam is wonderful, Islam, the word Islam mean peace. And I hear always people who have no education, they say Islam mean uh, submission or peace, which is absolutely not. Islam means to surrender by the sword. Even the Quran and the guy even actually he continue. We are not reading from the page, but again you can translate the page yourself. All the page which we are we were reading for you from and we use Google translation, all of it is just to tell you that you should hate the Christians and the Jews. So while we Christian we say we say love the Muslim, don't hate them, love everybody, pray for those who curse you, as Jesus said. The Muslims in their religion, they've been informed that the one who love the Christians or he'd even just take them as a friend don't love that have a good relationship with them as you are seeing as you see in front of you the one who does such a thing he is enemy for Allah in different verse in the Quran Muhammad he said that even you cannot take your own family your own family let us say you are a person who converted to Islam Can you be a friend to your parents? The Muslim, they will quote for you a verse about, uh, 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 you know, like uh, uh, the story when Aisha, her mother, she come to give her a gift. And they say, see, he, he, they were good. This is because this is her, the mother of Aisha. But this is the Quran. Muhammad is a hypocrite man. He's heard he will receive a gift. He will take it. Even it's from the Kafir. But the Muslim, they cannot do that. Chapter 58, verse number 22. And again, this is not my translation. And again, this is not me saying. And again, I'm reading the Quran. And again, this is not the stupid Muhammad Ali or the stupid idiot Trump or uh, 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 George Bush or whatever. Those are, this is what Islam is. This is not me. I'm showing you on the screen because I know I will find somebody, an idiot. He posts in the text. He says, Christian Prince lying to you. I'm showing you in the screen 
the verse number, the, the translation made by Muslims, the page is a Muslim page, the chap, this is it, chapter 58, verse number 22. And yet they will say to you, you are lying, the celebrity, they are saying true. Muhammad Ali is saying the truth. Muhammad Ali do not even know how to say his prophet name correctly. Oh, you Muhammad, you will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day, making a friendship with those who oppose Allah and his messenger. Even if they are their father, their sons, their brothers, and they are kindred, their own family, their own tribe, you will not find one of them making a friendship. Actually, the word the friendship is not, not correct translation. Just to show you how Muslims, they corrupt their, they, 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 you cannot trust a Muslim translation, as simple as that. You are doing, I mean, to love, to love, to be good to them. Read it carefully. Hmm. Look, we just trying to change the translator. We, we, no, we are reading Yusuf Ali. A second ago, Hilali, Muhammad Hilali and Muhammad Khan. So what happened? We changed the translator, we have different story. You will not find Muhammad. Any of those who believe in Allah in the last days, who will be loving to those who resist Allah? <coughs> and then, this is not only all, you will find even the Muslims using people who claim to be Christians. As an example, this person, he is supposedly a church pastor. He had a video in Einstein uh, uh, page in YouTube saying why evangelicals they hate Muslims. This is absolutely false. We don't, because you cannot hate Muslims and you are a Christian. Big fraud. And then he explained to you that Islam is wonderful. And then you will find another person saying, when, 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 when Christians first meet Muslims and he starts saying how wonderful Islam is. A Christians read the Quran. This is the same page in YouTube. All of it is a fraud. They bring you Catholic, they bring you Protestant, they bring you etc. And this is why we have to be careful. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father. Those are people who they are paid and they are coward and they are liars. And they cannot prove what they are saying. Where, where are you getting this information from? We show it to you on the screen. So my friends, we are in a war and the war is deception. The war of Muhammad is deception. And the hands of Muhammad is all over. Not only Muslims, they will lie to you. Even those who claim to be Christians, they lie to you. This is why what we do here is very important. Because your son, your daughter will hear such a false, fake priest who will go to hell for his lying. You see, I am not against him saying whatever he want to say. But is it true? If it's true, then I will say I, res I res respect. If this is true, if Islam is about peace, is if, if Islam is a wonderful religion and he says that, then good for, good for you, God bless you, I will say. But as you see, none of this is true. Even the Quran says it clearly, clearly, that Allah, he spread hatred between the Christians until the judgment day. I mean, what those people are talking about? Chapter 5, verse number 14, and this is the Muslim translation again, not my translation. Allah, he targeted the Christian, he hated the Christians. The Christians are his enemies. He want to destroy them. He want to make them Catholic and Protestant and Orthodox too, so they can fight each other. And this is why I believe that those who divide the Christians, they are serving the devil Allah. This is the plan of the devil for you Christians. So if you are a Protestant to attack the Catholic, and if you are a Catholic to attack the Protestant, you are good in that, huh? But look, this is the plan of Allah for you. For those who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, but they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one to the other to the day of judgment. This is the plan of Allah for you. So those Christians who they are so good in attacking each other, but in the front of Islam, they are potatoes. And even they say good things about Islam. They are serving the devil Muhammad and his God Allah. So when those people, they say to us, how we can have peace after all that we heard, 
that the Quran says, kill the Christians, kill the Jews, hate the Christians, hate the Jews, and then they say to us, Islam means peace. Isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, say, kill the Christians and the Jews, wherever you find them until they pay the jizya? So what they are talking about, imagine I come to your house and say, pay or die or convert. And then they say to us, Islam, peace. My friends, if you are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are whoever you are. This is not only against the Christians. Actually, Islam treats Christians way better than someone is Hindu because a Christian, he have a choice to pay so he can live. If you are a Hindu, you will not be given a choice. They will slaughter you. So those who say to you things about Islam, are you going to take what they say to you for granted? Including me, please. Don't take what I say to you for granted. Check everything I show you on the screen. Check the website I put for you in the info. From their biggest scholar, check the address, check where they are from, check with the website, check where it's hosted, check who is that sheikh, check, who, check whatever you want. Check the Quran. But don't be a fool. Don't take what people, they say to you. There's many liars, many deceivers. The devil is real, my friend. And you are a target, and your children are a target. After all, we still we are Christians and we love Muslims, and we will not hate them. Sharing the truth does not mean we hate somebody. We are just sharing reality. This is reality. Reality that there are some Christians they lie to the Christians, as those who we see them in the screen. They are fraud. They are cowards. They are liars. They have no dignity. The second you see a Muslim saying, this guy is a great guy, I respect him and he's a Christian, there's something wrong. Because as you showed you, the Quran says it clearly, you can't respect them, you can't friend them, you can't praise them. So how come they are praising those ones? For those are doing a great propaganda for the cult of Muhammad. Those are satanic people. Like this guy, he called himself a pastor. Pastor Bob Robert of Northwood Church in east of Texas. Do you have a shame? Do you have a shame? He don't. Because if he have any kind of shame, he will not say what he said. Did you even, I mean, because you see, do you think, guys, this guy, he did not study Islam a little bit? before he make this video, just he jumped there. I mean, what, they give you some money and you made a video about it? So either you know what you are talking about or you are a fraud. So my friends, help me so you can help yourself. As you see, be careful. When you send your child to a church, be careful what a church you are sending your child to because you might have a priest like this, fake and fraud and serving the, the devil, lying to your children. Before you send your child to a priest to learn from him, check him out. The Bible warned us about false teachers. He did. So I wanna say thank you guys for being here. I'm not going to go for long so you can download the video easy and let us see how you guys will help us to spread those videos they are very important sadly muslim they support the propaganda of islam few christians they care christians they like to watch you know they they are watching football people they don't like to be in the game they like to watch you know if i'm a muslim this video is going to have hundreds of thousands of a view in a week if I am a Muslim make a video about Islam say Islam is wonderful and you will see how many hit you will get make a video against Islam and see people ignore you because you see that you, you you say the truth 
and people they like show time too you know like to see, see a face in the screen a joke or funny stuff they don't like to see reference you know this is boring we are movie people we are cartoon people you show us something funny well maybe you are laughing now but later you will not I want to say thank you for being here and I pray to the Muslims that they will have a good life for the coming year as you see we love you Muslims we don't hate you even though your scholars is teaching you to hate us even though your prophet is a filthy man he, he ordered you actually Muhammad he ordered the Muslims to bring us and the chain around our necks like dogs you see how peaceful Islam Muhammad Ali he said Islam mean peace George Bush said Islam is peace Obama said Islam is peace this is Islam you idiot is that me saying this explain the Quran the verse it says the true Muslims are the most the, the, the best of the Muslims who is the best Muslim can you believe it what the Quran is saying Kuntum khayru ummatin ukhrijat nas. the Muslim they will quote for you this verse says that Muslims are the best people for mankind for the benefit of mankind but they will not tell you that the Muslims are the best best to mankind by enslaving them go check it out how many times the Muslims and even Obama he called this verse I think chapter 3 verse 1010 where it says the Muslims are the most most people who are involved for the benefit of mankind you forbid what is wrong and what is wrong is to be Christian <laughs> And what is wrong to be Hindu? And what's wrong to be atheist? And what's wrong is to be anything but not Muslim? Then they will kill you. And then here, this is the explanation for this verse, chapter 3, verse 110. It says, You true Muslims are the best people of ever raised for mankind. This is why Islamic Muslims are supremacists. Like the, they are like the KKK. Means the best of the people or for the people as you bring them with the chains in on their necks until they embrace Islam do you see it do you see it what we are showing you is a clear reference this is very authentic this is what Muslims believe and this is what Islam it's not a fraud celebrity saying to you something or a fake Christian pastor or we call himself pastor some want to debate me not now you know we can debate when we when we ask for them they don't show up if I come right now online I finish this I come online is he going to debate me no potatoes and debate what we are showing you all the reference debate me so uh, Remember always, when somebody says, what website you use for uh, Fatah al-Bari? My friend, there's million websites. What website? What's wrong with you? You think in the internet there's only one site, uh, you know? There's millions. People, either you ask me a serious question or I will block you. All right? We want mature people with us. We want mature people with us. This is very serious. They are lying to your kids. They are fooling you. And they are using celebrity to corrupt you and to lie to you. If Islam, as they say, so why you are terrified? Why we have to be checked in the security line in the airplane for two hours, three hours? Why in the embassy they are checking everybody? Why we have attacks every day? Why there is a churches are burned and there's a Hindu the, the temple of the Hindu just burned last week in Pakistan. Thousands of Christian girls are kidnapped and raped. Yet the celebrity, my friend, they are the one who can tell you what Islam is about. They are the one who share the truth with you. And because you are a stupid, you listen to those who you call them celebrity. Because you are a fool because you are no one they are a celebrity you are no one so you listen to them i don't listen to them for i am someone 
those who worship celebrity, whatever they say, whatever they do, they are nobody. They have no brain. They have no personality. They have no thinking. They have no decision. They are nobody. They are just a bunch of fools. You go to the house of somebody, you will see a picture of this guy and the picture of this guy. Why? What's wrong with you? Why you have their pictures? Do they have your picture there too? But because you are a fool, you are looking for someone to worship and whatever they say to you is holy words. So I want to say thank you all for being here. And I want to ask people when they join us in the chat to watch your mouth. Otherwise, I'm going to disable the chat each time I come online because you guys you are trying to make people. They make comment and by making those comments, they can YouTube can take our videos down. So I will consider anyone who make a comment which is stupid. Using filthy words is it trying to take my videos down. So I will block you. Before you write a word, think about it. Otherwise, we will block you. Download the video. Share it with your friends. And enjoy the celebrity teaching. For they are your masters if you are a fool. However, I am not a fool. And if Muhammad, <laughs> a fool like Muhammad, who said that the black dog is the devil, can fool you. How fool are you? The black dog is the devil. That is a prophet of God. The most person Allah he hate is a black. That is a prophet of God. Allah he created Adam, children's black and white, the white from the left from the right shoulder of Adam, and they will go to heaven, and the black. They are from the left shoulder of Adam and they will go to hell. What kind of a prophet he teaches such a thing? What a disgusting, filthy creature. The black dog is the devil, you idiot. Just because he's black. We ask the prophet what the difference between yellow and white uh, dog and the black dog. He says, the prophet Allah Messenger said, you are asking me, he said the black dog is the devil. So now we have to start killing black dogs, according to Muhammad, because they are the devil. And by the way, this is not only goes for black dogs, any pure black animal, Muhammad believe it is devil. When in fact he is the devil, he is the one who go after a six years old girl. He is the one who beat people until they find out where they have their money. He is the one who attacked caravan. He is the one who raped people. He is the one who went to his own son wife when she's alone and he flirt with her and obviously he have sex with her. And then he forced his son to give her to him. Muhammad is a person of morality. To the point when he see a woman walking in the front of his house, he jumped to his wife when she is tanning leather and he take off her clothes and he start doing boom boom. And then he come back and he says, huh, women, they come in the shape of a devil and they leave in the shape of the devil. It is not him who is the devil. It is the women, according to Muhammad. Just because he got horny. Hmm. The women are the devil, but he have 13 of them in his house. And he have hundreds of sex slaves of women. Yet, women are the devil. So, download the video, share it. I was trying to make it short as I can, but as usual, mission is impossible. Thank you for being here. And let us see how many of you will share the video. I'm not expected too much from you to share because I know I know and you know only few they will be counted only few not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will and what his will is what his will is yesterday we were quoting for you Psalm 82 
to protect the poor and to rescue the poor from the wicked and Muhammad is nothing but a wicked man rescue the world from the wicked Muhammad before it's too late thank you and God bless you if you like to read my books you can find them in Amazon and don't forget to subscribe and you can join us in Patreon God bless Christ is Lord and Muhammad got busted each time we go live no mercy with the truth take care